What up world, back with another one, keeping it chill, maybe like a hybrid mukbang ASMR. I'm quite tired if I'm honest, pretty late at night, but I'm very excited for a nice meatball sub with some extra Hidden Valley, you know I need it. Got some creamy gills, baked though. The, the snap, the texture of a baked chip, too good. Uh, additionally, we're gonna have a uh, glass of ice here, well, a cup of ice, and a fresh Diet Mountain Dew ski. So yeah, I got a fresh Mountain Dew ski. Sorry, I was just semi-interrupted by... You're gonna hear people bopping around right now. I'm in a living space where there's people, so that's just gonna have to happen. Uh, yeah. We get a fresh fizz. A little taste of heaven. Got the ranch, of course. Now, as you'll observe here, these chips, it's the baked chips. They're just... I'm gonna put the snap on them. They're just a bit like thicker than your average regular chip. So I got her loaded up, all the fixings. She's a meatball. There you go. So. Meatball, limited marinara, I don't like too much. Try to keep it as dry as possible. Iceberg, spinach, tomato, onion, cucumber, green pepper, banana peppers. We're doing it. Now, we're actually just gonna take it to another little bit of a higher level. Because today, I went, uh, I was in the grocery store. I didn't really go grocery shopping, I just went for a few other things and I got, a sack of pepperoni because <laughs> I, lo I love snacking on this type of pepperoni it's so good I feel very trailer park boys but I feel like if we're having a meatball sub let's just add some it's one for me another interesting thing is the jalapeno cheddar breader I've never seen it. Let's just get into it. The nice quiet pack of rags I brought for, for face wiping. Really a, a clutch pro move. So I went out to Subway with the intention of uh, like a Philly cheese. And somewhere along the way I just, I thought to myself, nah, I'll take a meatball. Mainly because I wasn't really trying to spend 14 bucks on like a Philly cheese sub. When I could get this loaded sucker for, I think it was like 7 58 bucks. That's definitely one thing about a meatball sub though, you gotta be pre prepared for a mess. Because they get overloaded quick. And slip and slide around.
I feel like red onions on a meatball sub are like so necessary. As you'll hear, people doing things. Mm. Diet Mountain Dew. It's just so rare that I have Mountain Dew. But when I do, do the do. It's wonderful. Falling apart. Maybe that makes the better video though, when it's a bit sloppy. I feel like people like that. See, so I got like a decent little backdrop. I got my desk set up today. Ordered it from Ikea a couple days ago. Came through pretty quick actually, pretty stoked. And then I got like I screwed like this backboard onto it. I got my lights set up, getting speakers in the next pit, some stuff to start making some more music. Things are all good. Been working with my buddy. He owns his own uh, like little like single man Now, now dual man, I guess. Um, like construction type company, but just like finishing base, like not finishing, like renovating um, apartments, condos, <clears throat> building decks, installing windows, doing siding, all that type of work, finishing work, carpentry work. But it's like my best boy from elementary school, so it's like we just cruise around. We do hard work, but it's like I don't have like you know annoying boss or anything. Right? It's just my my buddy. And we are, uh, we're all good vibes. It's flexible too. It's like we can kind of choose when we want to start and finish per day, per the job. But it is good to put in like a, like a longer day just to like make sure you're just getting progress done. But yeah, mainly just trying to like readjust and figure out the vibe of like slow town living. Like, very different. Really not used to it. a good one year game plan that's going to buy me more freedom 
in the future. So it's all gonna be good and worth it. Still a young dude, don't have to stay here forever, but. If I can get myself into a position where I own something, and then eventually make it a uh, like a rental property, I can travel, move, whatever. Go live other places, do YouTube still, but have something that I own that is just paying for itself and bringing me profit. And also working for my friend. I'm learning everything you need to know to to do, uh, you know, fixer uppers, rentals and stuff on your, on your own. Eat good, live well, stay true. 